Let's talk about the market reaction to the news this morning regarding Johnson & Johnson's vaccine. Joining us now is Mike Wilson, chief U.S. equity strategist for Morgan Stanley. Mike, great to have you on this morning. Um, how do you sort of connect the dots in terms of the impact of a potential um, pullout of the J&J &J vaccine from distribution? I mean, to the extent that it could delay reopening, it could keep bond yields in check, uh, it could strengthen the Fed's stance uh, of lower for longer, um, and that could be good for tech stocks. I mean, where do you go with this news? No, I think that's exactly right, Melissa. There's a, there's a lot of variables here. Look, the, the good news is is that we still have Moderna. We still have Pfizer vaccines, which are plentiful. And I think there's some statistics that suggest we have enough, you know, supply there to get everybody vaccinated by July. So it's a delay. It's not a, like it's not that the reopening is not going to happen. And also, I mean, the, in this case particularly, I mean, it, you know, unfortunately, there's six cases, but there's been also been seven or eight million administered. So it's early days. I don't think that, you know, there's going to be a, a, a huge reaction in the markets beyond the knee jerk reaction we're getting here right now. This is not what we're focused on right now. We think we think generally um, we've made a ton of progress on this on this virus. We've, we, the vaccination programs that are in place are working well. You know, hospitalizations and, and, and death counts are coming down still, even with the case counts going up. And we're, we're optimistic, very optimistic that we're going to be reopened fully in the second half of this year. So it sounds like you're, you're pretty much looking past this news at this point in terms of how it impacts your view of the markets, even short term. Well, like I said, very short term, there's going to be near knee jerk reaction for sure. And, and short term, as you know, Melissa, we talked, I think, last week. I mean, I, I'm a little more concerned about some other things near term. Um, and, and this would not I mean, this doesn't help. But I, this is not what I'm going to be focused on in terms of going into earnings season, trying to figure out, you know, where we're going to make money, where we're going to avoid some of the pitfalls that could be happening mm -hmm. as we actually do reopen the economy. There's going to be some risks that I think people aren't focused on that are going to come to light. What are some of the uh, wild cards you're expecting in earnings season? I would imagine this is an opportunity for companies to talk about rising costs, for instance, and maybe shrinking margins, margin pressure. That's exactly right. We so we're we're very focused on this on this potential cost issue for a lot of companies because, you know, it's 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 a lot harder to open an economy than it is to shut it down. And we're already hearing a lot of anecdotal and you know real evidence that there's uh, supply shortages. There's uh, potentially uh, you know higher costs for labor, just availability of labor, and and we think that that's going to affect companies across the board. It's not going to be one or two different sectors. And, and the opportunity is to, is to really pick stocks, pick, you know, companies that can manage through this reopening, which there's, there's going to be some execution risk for sure. The other thing that we're continuing to be focused on is just the amount of, you know, leverage that's in the system. Uh, you know, people are optimistic for the right reasons. I mean, you know, it is a bull market and stocks have done really well. But, uh, you know, retail is heavily involved now. Uh, we've seen a, a lot of, you know, leverage put into the system in other places. And, you know, very optimistic. So there's a, there's a chance that, you know, earnings are great this is for the first quarter, but it's a little bit of a sell the news event because it is sort of peak rate of change on a lot of things that we've been focused on that have been bullish. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.